In today's video, we're going to see if 8 gigabytes of RAM is good enough for most modern games. We're going to be comparing one stick of 8 gig versus two sticks of 8 gigs, um, so that would be 16. And we're doing it with a 1660 Super and an i5-4460. So here we are in GTA 5. We're playing in 1080p with basically everything up as high as it goes except for motion blur. And yeah. So in GTA 5, having two sticks of 8 gigabytes of RAM increased the average FPS by 13%. Um, it went from 65 FPS to pretty close to 79. Uh, so that's a pretty good increase. Uh, you can take advantage of that if you've got a higher refresh monitor. And here we are. I started the game with the 16 gigs of RAM, and it starts out using around 7.5 gigabytes of RAM, my system. But as I drive around, I definitely get uh, more RAM used. By the time I was back on a crime spree, I was up to close to 12 gigabytes of RAM being used. Um, I just wanted to start blowing stuff up and we're definitely getting better frames per second out here, just not moving so fast through places. But yeah, we've got a lot of the, that RAM used. And so it is pretty good to have when you're uh, playing for a longer period of time, it, it appears. We're going to be playing Fortnite at 1080p on the Epic preset with DirectX 11. Strangely enough, Fortnite also had a 13% better FPS average with the second second dim of RAM. So it uh, it appears to be kind of a pattern here. Um, the gameplay we're watching was recorded with the 16 gigs of RAM. You can see that we're already using a little more than 8 megabytes. Um, and so yeah, definitely um, more advantageous in this game as well as uh, GTA 5. Here are the settings for Call of Duty Warzone. Um, we mostly did high um, and yeah it's 1080p so there you go. Warzone showed the least amount of improvement with the increased RAM even though it does suggest having 12 gigabytes of RAM. This may be because our um, CPU isn't able to feed enough stuff to the GPU. Like you can see that the CPU is pretty close to 100% and the GPU is only at around 55%. Um, and yeah, our RAM usage, this Robert screenshot, this uh, screen recording was from the 16 gig system. So it definitely does use it and it definitely plays a slightly better, but if we had a multi-threaded CPU here or something with a little more umph, I'm sure it would have made more of a difference. But since we're just using an i5-4460, it doesn't have enough power to really utilize all that extra RAM and stuff. If you've liked this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and have a great day.